Hello and welcome back to Astromax Gaming's tutorial series on OBS Studio. Let's open up OBS Studio again and today we're going to work on creating text and images, adding them to scenes, and creating a pre-roll and an end slate. First thing we're going to do is create a new scene. We're going to call it pre-roll test and hit enter. Under here we're going to add our first source and we're going to add an image because images are actually usually easier to add and it's going to be your backdrop and what you're going to build off of. So we're going to go ahead and click add here and pick on image. Under here we're going to add in whatever we want to do which we'll just call it image test and hit OK. If you had an existing one you wanted to use you can click on add existing and click on one of these here. We're going to hit browse and find our image. We're going to use the background image logo here and click open. Click OK. As you see, it's a little bit too big for what we want to use. So we're going to actually minimize it here. You can do it to make an exact size the way you want here. Or you can right click on it, go to transform and click fit to screen. It'll fill it exactly. This may warp it slightly or make the size not quite uh, scaled properly, but since this image happens to be 1080p, it should fit just right. Now we're going to add some text on top of this. Go ahead and click the plus button down here, and we're going to select text. Name it, create a new one, or if you have the existing one you want to use, again, you can use click existing. And we're going to call it starting soon text. Click OK. And here's where you can do a lot of manipulation here. First thing I like to do is go ahead and put what we're going to have in here. Call it starting soon. As you can see, it's in the upper left hand corner here. Very small. So we definitely want to change a few things there. First thing we'll do is hit select font and pick one here. Uh, let's find something that really stands out for now. I think Dr. Jekyll does. Yes, that definitely does. Uh, font, you can do normal, bold, italic, just like normal. You can do your underline, your strike through, writing system. I just use any, keep it as is. Under size, you can scroll down here and you see 72 is the max, which if we hit OK here, you'll see it change. Generally, to me, is not actually big enough. I would usually want it bigger than that. And you can stretch it and make it bigger, which we'll do right now. And as you see, as it gets bigger, it does get pixelated and blurry. I uh, can't know if you can tell on this video recording here, but on my screen, especially look at it compared to the AMG logo, this is very blurry, very pixelated, not what I usually want to do. So we'll actually revert this under transform. Let's go back to reset transform, puts it back to how it should be. We're going to now edit this. You can either do that by selecting it and clicking on the gear here for settings. Or you can double click on it, which I prefer to do. It just opens it faster. Under font, you see 72 was the largest, but you see we can actually go up here and change it. I believe if you go to 300, it does actually crash OBS. So I usually go 250 max. It has crashed OBS. <laughs> there we go. So 250 is the cutoff point. Now let's try it. Let's go to 200 here. 200 does not crash OBS. So let's try 200 for now. I was going to put it up here in the upper right hand corner. We're actually going to move this guy down here, make it slightly larger. I'm just going to play with this to make it look good, but still fill up the screen properly. There we go. I like that. And at the starting soon here, let's change the color. The color options will be down here. You can go ahead and go down to set color here. Hit that. We'll pick, uh, say, a purple up top. And there are two colors, as you can see, which if we change one, we'll change just the top portion here. You can see it right there. Uh, the white looks okay, but let's try a different color at the bottom. Let's try like a bluish. That's more of a purple. Let's go green. Why not? There we go. That looks good. The other option you can do here is add an outline, which makes it stand out a little bit better depending on the background. And you can add a drop shadow which on this black doesn't add too much. You can see a very faint difference, but we'll add it now just to have it. Custom text width, we'll leave the same. Word wrap, we only have one line, we'll leave it the same, and click OK, and there's our text. Again, you can add different fonts, different sizes, add multiple things throughout the screen and move them around. 
Uh, if you ever find you can't find something, uh, check down here under sources. Make sure the eyeball is does have a does not have a little line through it, meaning you can't be seen. Also, sometimes the image we put on top, since this one does have a background, the starting soon text is there, it's just it's being covered by the image. So you want to make sure you put everything in the right order. The one on top will be the one on top. Think of it as it being stacked on top, where if it's on top, it'll be visible above the other one. Other images you can use can have transparent backgrounds, which may make things easier. But I picked this one here as a standard image if you're using a full image that takes up the whole screen and to show you how to use it. And that's your basics for adding text and adding images. Again, you can add multiple ones. More options should be coming in future updates, but for now, those are the basic options and to get you started. Thanks again for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.